Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. In any field or subfield, uh, these days there are loads and loads of journals. At many a time, others and researchers are left confused when they have to make a decision about to which journal they should submit their work. And if you make an error here, no, it can like cost you a lot because uh, in terms of time, you submit one journal, that journal uh, like spends a lot of uh, time in uh, getting it peer reviewed, then maybe they reject it. Then you have to select another journal, submit to it. There is a long wait and precious time is lost. And also all this uh, cycle of uh, submission, rejection may like affect your morale and cause you a lot of stress. So in this presentation, we will discuss how you can make the best decision possible about to which journal you should submit your work. When you are making a decision in this regard, obviously your foremost aim should be that you should get uh, published. That is like there is no controversy about that. At the same time, that should not be your only aim. That will not help you on the whole as a researcher. There should also be other aims like whatever you are writing and publishing, it should be read by other people. Maybe at least the fellow researchers in your field or maybe even uh, um, professionals in other fields or even the general public. And also, they should put it into use, like uh, practitioners should follow what uh, your findings dictate, the public should change their lifestyle depending on what your suggestions are. All these things are also important. And also, you should get cited by other researchers so that your H index, your uh, author metrics improve. So, when you are choosing a journal, you should keep all these four aims in mind. The kind of journals in which you have published can affect you in various ways. For example, it can help your career advancement. All of you know that when promotions are considered, the stature of the journals in which you have published, the impact factor, etc. are given a lot of importance in various institutions. It can also affect your professional reputation. Suppose you have published in science or nature. Wow. So, your colleagues, your fellow researchers will look upon you with like envy and like they will be considering you as a leader in your particular field. And also, like if you have published in uh, journals of um, high repute, you will you are more likely to get more and more uh, funding opportunities also. So all these factors dictate that you publish your articles, you get your articles published in the best journals possible, the journals of the highest stature that are available to you. Now, when we should make this decision? you are going to do a study and you obviously the ultimate aim of any research is to like get it published. So when you should make a decision about in which journal you are going to get the article published. Ideally it is best if you are making the decision when you are writing the protocol itself. That will help you in various ways because um, suppose you are doing an intervention study. Most good journals these days dictate that um, intervention studies, clinical trials should be registered in the respective national trial registry. So, if you are aiming a good journal, you should do that in the stage of writing the protocol itself. Also, like you can go through the intended journal, the journal in which you plan to publish your study and check what is the kind of methods, the methodology that they have followed so that you can also try to improve your methods so that the chances of you getting accepted into that journal improve. So, many people don't do this, but it is best to make the selection at the time of deciding the topic, writing the protocol itself. Now, suppose you have, you are not able to do that. At least uh, do that uh, selection process even before you start writing the paper, because many people, what they do is after they have the final paper ready, they make the decision. Then the problem is because uh, the reference system, the number of tables, the word count, etc., etc. You may have to again modify depending on the whims and fancies of that particular uh, journal. So, before you start writing, if you have taken the uh, decision, then it will be easier for you. It will save you a lot of time. Now, we will discuss like uh, the screening process, how to make the selection in three separate stages. First, you have to make a decision about uh, whether you would like to get your article published in a general journal of your field or maybe in a niche journal, in a highly specialized journal. Because in any specialty, these two uh, genera, these two kinds of journals are available. For example, if you think about surgery, we have very broad journals like American Journal of Surgery that cover the entire field of surgery. 
or if you talk about the field of psychology we have journals like british journal of psychology again the whole kinds of clinical psychology educational psychology own kinds of psychology papers will be covered in a journal like that on the other hand uh, like in every field there are also highly specialized highly focused journals for example in the field of surgery we have international journal of medical robotics and computer assisted surgery very specialized very niche focus and also in psychology we have journals like cyber psychology behavior and social networking so which of these journals you should uh, choose suppose your study is on cyber, cyber psychology so whether you should submit the article to a broad uh, general journal on psychology or whether you should choose this particular journal on cyber psychology so your decision will depend on like what you think whether your article your findings your message will be of relevance to psychologists as a whole surgeons as a whole or whether it will be of interest to like researchers or practitioners um, working in a highly specialized very focused area so depending on that you make the decision suppose you feel that will appeal to general audience wonderful you submit it to a general journal otherwise choose a focused journal that way your chances of acceptance and also your chances of being read by the readers of that particular journal improve then you have to also consider the geographical uh, area geographical uh, focus because um, uh, many journals are international journals on the other hand we have also asian journal european journal continental journals are there national journals are there even in countries like india there are state journals also so again like your decision should depend on the kind of message that you have to share and also what kind of audience you feel will be interested in your article if you feel that it will be of relevance to readers across the globe then you can submit to international journal on the other hand suppose uh, you feel that only um, people from one particular country will be interested in your findings and message or maybe only one state uh, people will be interested in that article then you make the, your decision accordingly i would like to share a tip here your reference list the journals that are listed in that uh, your in your, your references they can be of uh, immense help because you have already done an extensive literature review when you were planning your study when you were writing your introduction section when you were writing the discussion and all so all the major previous studies on your particular topic have already got published in these journals which are already listed in your reference list so you can assume that journals uh, uh, those particular journals may also be interested in your paper also for example this is the reference list of one of the articles of which i was a co-author so if we see you can see that this particular journal computers and human behavior the first reference is from that particular journal then also the third reference is also from that particular journal so it is highly likely that uh, this particular journal deals with this kind of article so they may be interested in my article also this is one way you can like um, find out some potential journals to submit your article now there are also various online journal suggestions various websites that suggest you which are the best journals for you depending on your title your keyword subtract and all this is one good option jane journal author name estimator i have provided the link here and also in the description section of this particular video i have included clickable links to all this resource and also various other resources i will be discussing in this particular presentation so what you can do here is you can uh, uh, paste your uh, title and or abstract in the box that they have given and if you search they will give you a list of uh, journals for example here i am doing a trial search on hydroxychloroquine for covid 19 so when i click the find journals button i get a list of journals and also if you click this uh, show articles this button here you get a list of art, uh, articles that particular journal has already published on this particular topic and also like you can see that there is a huge list of um, uh, article journals and also like they have given a list of like whether they are indexed in medline whether they are included in pmc whether that is a high quality open access journal all this kind of information is available for you here and also they also included the article influence score we will discuss all these kind of metrics maybe in some future presentation but this is a very useful like metric that will um, help you choose the best journal that you can uh, submit your article to now this is another similar tool advanced journal selector here also you can um, paste your uh, keyword or issn number or journal name you can search publisher you can search so they will give you a list of suggestions 
and also the major publishers they have their own journal suggestions this one is from elsevier uh, journal finder so here also you have the option to enter the uh, journal's title or maybe you can enter the abstract here or you can enter the uh, keywords here you there's an option to select your particular field of research and then you click the find journals so again you will get a list of elsevier journals that are most suitable to that particular article Springer has their own uh, journal suggester here again manuscript title here you can paste the manuscript text not just the abstract so that may give you better more specific suggestions you can select the subject area here so again you read the, uh, click the suggest journal so again uh, after that you will get a list of uh, the most suitable Springer nature journals for that particular topic. this is a new tool it is still in the beta version it is from sage so here also it is a similar tool you can paste the manuscript title you can enter at least five keywords and here they have another option it is called sage path many publishers have that what happens there is suppose like a publisher has loads of journals under them and you submit to one of the journals and but that editor or those reviewers do not feel that your article is up to the mark for that particular journal at the same time, they feel that some other journal from the same publisher may be interested in this particular article. So, they themselves, if you have signed up for that, if you have consented for that, they themselves will move it to a more suitable journal from the same publisher. So, the like Sage has that, many other publishers also have that. So, you can opt whether like uh, you, you, your search should be restricted to journals which are there in the Sage Path program. Then you can select the subjects, 3 to 5 they are recommending indexing. like. Um, um, your uh, midline scope etc etc whether you want index journals or otherwise that option you can choose and also there are other options so whether old sage journals or you want to gold open access journals what that means is like there are two kinds of open access journals in uh, gold open access journals the journal itself publishes your uh, entire article for free for anyone to access on the other hand there is another option called green open access uh, in those journals what they do is they will not uh, publish your article for free like uh, in their website the article will not be free for the readers it will be behind the paywall but you have the freedom to post your article in any repositories article sharing websites etc that is green open access and also whether uh, like uh, you should be restricted to subscription journals or these options are there then you can uh, if you click the find journals you will get a list of uh, sage journals uh, which are the best uh, journals from sage uh, uh, appropriate for this particular um, article so by now you have decided whether you want to submit to a general journal or a focus journal to an international journal or a more regional journal then you have checked your reference list and you have used all these uh, journal suggestions so by now you have at least a small list maybe seven ten journals which are possible candidates for submission now how to screen each of these journals in detail by going to their website and uh, uh, what all uh, points you should pay attention to when you are uh, visiting their website you know 